What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka J, straight from the Kangaroo and into your living room. Here today I'm back with another Battlefield 4 video for you guys. Um, some neat little information regarding all the weapons in Battlefield 4. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff because there were weapons that were, you know, people were thinking what is going to be in there, what's not going to be in there from Battlefield 3 and previous Battlefield titles. Here's the list I have for you so far. Now before I get into the actual list, List, I want to give a special mention to the M82A3, which is the 50 cal making its return from the Battlefield 3 single player campaign. If any of you remember that, um, the 50 cal was actually usable uh, in, in Battlefield 3. It's a semi automatic sniper rifle, a very, very powerful weapon. It's believed to have 110 maximum damage um, to the head and chest. Um, that's all speculation at this point, but it's believed that is the case. If you want some more information on the video, um, <laughs> some more more information on the weapon, uh, I'll leave a link in the description to a video of me um, talking about that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Now moving on to the actual weapons list, uh, we'll start off with the assault rifles, the QBZ-95, the CZ-805 and the AK-12. Moving on to the PDWs, the P90 making its return from Battlefield 3, the CZ-3A1, the UMP-45 making its return from Battlefield 3 with a whole lot more camos, not just that blue camo, you're going to have about 10 different camos to use. Um, the MX-4 Storm, um, that is a weapon I'm really looking forward to using. Uh, the, uh, and now moving on to the LMGs, the Ultimax 100 MK-5, the T-88, the Type 88 LMG making its return from Battlefield 3, Hopefully it's a little more buffed uh, this time around and the M249 now one thing I want to point out with the LMGs is that the LMG is going to be a lot more powerful You got to remember that suppression has been removed for all other weapons besides the LMGs So now the LMGs are going to be a real dominant force in Battlefield 4 not to mention the heavy damage output uh, output uh, for the uh, heavier uh, LMGs like um, the M249 etc um, etc et um, now moving on to the bolt action sniper rifles, you have the Scout Elite, the SV-98, the M40A5 making its return along with the SV-98, and the CZ... CRS, uh, sorry, LR4. I've never heard of that uh, sniper rifle before, but okay then. Now we'll move on to the pistols. The M9 making its return from Battlefield 3. The QSZ92, the ch the new Chinese uh, pistol. It'll pretty much be your basic pistol next to the M9. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And then you've got the P226. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And then moving on to the shotguns, you have the Hawk 12 gauge and then the Remington 870. Great to see the Remington making its return. Um, now now moving on to the carbines, the only carbine that we have available right now is the AK-5C, uh, but expect to see the M4A1 make its return. Um, I've actually seen a couple of photos of it um, uh, in Battlefield 4, so expect to see the M4A1 uh, make a return. So that's pretty much the list right now that we have. Um, of course there are going to be more weapons put in there. Um, expect to see weapons like the M16 and the AK make a return. Um, I didn't want to list them in the actual list because they aren't 100% confirmed. But a lot of the weapons that you've seen in Battlefield 3, except, you know, expect a, like a lot of them to make a return. Uh, regarding assault rifles, you're from Mars, your M16, your AK like I said. Um, the MTAR, I, I would not be surprised if that made a return. Just a bunch of different weapons. The, the one question I asked is the the lack of semi-automatic sniper rifles um, the SVD uh, you know the SKS where are they are they going to be in there and how prominent are they going to be and how the, are they going to balance it um, in Battlefield 3 semi-automatic sniper rifles are perceived as spammy weapons so it'll be interesting to actually see how that all turns out but uh, yeah that's pretty much the list guys tell me in the comment section below of the one weapon that you are looking forward to most for me it's the 50 k I mean, god damn, I've I just want to test the power of the thing personally, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Again, tell me which weapon you're looking forward to most, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. So that's the video, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.